Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwa, and I say Shalom. In the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names. In the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwa Kadash, the whole tongue. And once again, Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa Akim Wa Akwa, and I say Shalom. Okay. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring up, especially uh, the rising tensions over there in the uh, Red Sea. Because you have both sides, uh, tensions are escalating between the both sides from the, uh, the United States and the UK and the uh, coalition forces going against the Israel Defense Force that targets. Uh, vessels of oil tanks and ships that cross between importing and exporting over there in the areas in the Red Sea. The ongoing tensions are heating up between both sides so I just want to add an additional note to that. And this is a uh, latest news article from the Jerusalem Post uh, by Reuters published February the 16th 2024 and last updated February the 16th 2024 and it reads oil tanker target by missile in Red Sea attack the vessel experienced an explosion in the density of the vessel and reportedly sustaining minor damage Embraer reported a Indian bound tanker carried crude oil has been attacked with a missile in the Red Sea and I believe not too long ago I say about a couple of weeks ago uh, you had India was gonna uh, explore more increasing options to protect their borders I mean to protect their uh, vessels and ships over there in the Red Sea as well too and I believe Germany recently uh, said they was gonna do some type of bore I mean uh, patrol areas over there in the Red Sea as well too so it's a lot of activity is heating up over there in the Red Sea. It says an Indian bound tanker carried crude oil has been attacked with a missile in the Red Sea. The United States Department said on Friday, this is yet another example of the lawless of the lawless attack on international shipping, which continued after numerous joint and international statements calling the Houthis to cease. A State Department spokesperson said earlier, the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations, which is the UK MTO agencies and British Maritime Security Forum, Embry, said in a Pamela flag tanker had reportedly been hit 72 negative miles and 132 kilometers northwest of the port of Mak uh, Makha off Yemen. The vessel experienced an explosion in the density of the uh, vessel and reportedly sustained minor damage. The crew was reported safe and unharmed, Embry said. It says another vessel three and miles to the northeast of the tanker was observed altering course port away from the uh, tanker. <coughs> Ambria said claim motivations against Israel. It says Yemen Iranian back Houthis have said they will press on with attacks on Red Sea shipping in solidarity with the Palestinians as long as Israel continues to commit crimes against them. Our operation have a big impact on the enemies which constitute a great success at a real Trump Houthis leader of the Malaki Al Houthi said in a televised speech on Thursday, the attacks on ships have disrupted global commerce, stroke, stroke fears of inflation, and deepening concern the Israel Hamas war could spread. Let's see. Uh, for Joel. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Right, and that's what we're seeing throughout the whole region over there in the Red Sea. Escalations and tensions are rising, and definitely over there in the Red Sea. 
between the uh, the United States and Britain and the coalition forces together uh, going against the uh, Houthi rebels, which is an Iranian-backed group, which they originally from Yemen. It says this is a uh, and as we would. You know, as of recently, we definitely been seeing, you know, the United States and Great Britain using airstrike targets over those uh, facilities, military station bases over there in Yemen, you know, they've been targeting. So that shows you that the tensions are heating up between both sides from the uh, Houthi rebels, which is an Iranian backed group against the coalition forces of uh, the United States and Great Britain and the other nations as well, too. This is the Prophet Joel, 3 and verse 10. Beat your plowshares and the swords and the plenty hooks and the spears. And let the weak say, I am strong. And that's what we're seeing from the uh, Iranian Houthi rebels. Hey, let the weak say, I am strong. So they're really not phased by the coalitions of the United States and Great Britain and other nations as well, too. They're going to do whatever it takes to continue uh, targeting uh, anybody that's affiliated with the coalitions of the United States and Great Britain and the Israel Defense Force as well too. So they're gonna continue to target, because uh, I believe one of the Houthi rebels, it, it mentioned in the article, and it been mentioned numerous of times, countless of times, the representation of the uh, Houthi rebels said they're gonna continue to target uh, vessels over there in that area that importing and exporting uh, items in a very, important necessities you know this is uh the prophet joel 3 and verse 9 i'm gonna read it again for edification's sake so you know i just want to add an additional note to that this is uh the prophet joel 3 and verse 9 i'm gonna read it again for uh edification's sake so salak here for that it says proclaim ye this amongst the gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty man let all the men of war draw near and let them come up Prophet Joel 3 and verse 10, beat your plowshares and the swords and the plenty hooks and the spears and let the weak say I'm strong. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying from the uh, Jerusalem Post as of uh, February 16, 2024. And it reads, oil tanker target by missile in Red Sea attack. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Karkadash. In the heavenly Father, true name is Zechariah, and His only begotten Son, Baha Shem, in the name of Mashiach Kavashai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the last one could ask the whole tongue. And Shalom to the uh, elders, Waakim, Waakwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.